In this video I will show you how to integrate ChatGPT into your Excel spreadsheets. By the end of this video you will be able to insert buttons like the one on my sheet. When you select the cell with your prompt and hit the button, a new worksheet will be created for you. In that worksheet you will find the response from ChatGPT. For example, I asked for a 10 day travel plan to Seoul, South Korea. Instead of just selecting one cell with your prompt, you can also choose multiple ones. In the next example, I included my prompt in the top left corner. Also, when I hit the button again, you will see the ChatGPT response in the new output sheet. So now I have some insights into my data. I have actually created a very similar video to this one in the past. However, in that video I used an older model of ChatGPT. To incorporate the GPT 3.5 Turbo model and GPT-4, I had to modify the code. But don't worry, if you want to integrate this functionality into your spreadsheets, there is no coding required on your part. I have done all the work for you, and you are free to take my code and use it however you would like. The only limitation is that my code will only work on Windows machines. Ok, and with that said, let me show you how to set things up. First, let's open a new workbook. And then we will need to enable the developer ribbon. To do so, right click on your ribbon and select customize the ribbon. On the right side, check the box next to developer and then click on OK. Now you should see a new ribbon labeled developer. Click on it and then click the record macro button. In the window that pops up, ensure you have selected personal macro workbook. Once you click on OK, Excel will create a new personal workbook for us in the background. Later we will use this personal workbook to store the code needed to run ChatGPT. The cool part is, the code in the personal workbook will be available in all your spreadsheets. So you only have to set it up once. Alright, after clicking the record button, you can immediately stop the recording. Because we only needed to create the personal workbook. Next, open the Visual Basic Editor. In there you will see your personal workbook. Click on it and navigate to the module created when we started the recording. By default it will be labeled module 1. Ok, and now head over to my GitHub repository. You will find the link to this page in the video description box. From this repository we will need two modules. The JSON converter and the ChatGPT module. Let's start with the JSON converter. Click on the module and then click on the download button in the corner. Ok, and once downloaded, do the same for the ChatGPT module. Alright, once done, you should now have two modules downloaded on your computer. A side note about the JSON converter. I actually didn't create this one. It is a work from Tim Hall. He made his code available on GitHub, so full credit to him. I will also leave the link to his GitHub repo in the description. Ok, and with that said, head back to your Visual Basic Editor. Right click in the module list and select Import File. Select the first module you downloaded and then also repeat the step to import the other module. Next make sure you have selected personal workbook. And then go to tools, references and then check the box next to Microsoft scripting runtime. It might not be at the top so you might need to scroll down to find it. Once you found it and you've checked it, click on OK. Now open the ChatGPT module. In there you will see the code I have provided for you. Feel free to check it out and modify it as needed. I have also included a settings area and added some comments to explain each setting. The most important part here is your OpenAI API key. To obtain this key, navigate to the OpenAI platform and log in. After you are logged in, you will need to set up your billing details since using this API isn't free. The cost vary based on your usage and you can find more details in the pricing section. If you don't set up your billing details, you will most likely encounter an error when trying to run my code. So please make sure you have set it up correctly. Ok, once done, go to the API keys and create a new secret key. As the name suggests, it's a secret key, so never share it. I will also remove my key before uploading this video. But to demonstrate how it works, I will show you my key and I will copy it to my clipboard. Back in the Visual Basic Editor, I will paste my key here. And lastly, when you close the workbook, you will be prompted to save changes to your personal macro workbook. So you want to make sure to click on save here. Ok, and now that you have successfully implemented the new functionality in Excel, there are several ways to use it. 
Let me show you some of those options. First, you can insert a button into your quick access toolbar. Click on the icon up here and select more commands. From the drop down menu, choose macros. Here, you should now see the ChatGPT macro. Select it and click on add. Optionally, you can also modify the icon. For instance, I will choose the butterfly icon. Ok, and now when you type your prompt in a cell and click that new button, you will receive the output in a new worksheet. Another option would be to insert a button directly into your sheet. To do so, navigate to the developer tab and click on insert and then choose the button. Draw your button on the sheet. Afterwards, select the ChatGPT macro and click on OK. You can also change the button text if you like. And just like before, when you select the cell containing your prompt and clicking this button, you will see the output in a new sheet. Ok, and a third alternative is to create your own Excel add-in, which you can even share with your co-workers. Once the add-in is installed, you will have a new ribbon from where you can access the ChatGPT functionality. If you want to learn more about this, I have another video that guides you step by step in creating an Excel add-in. You will find the video also in the description box below. Lastly, and this is a bit of a plug from my end, you can also use my Excel add-in. The code I use in my add-in is even a bit more advanced and I also added a user interface. Here you can save your API key and adjust the following settings. The add-in is available in both free and paid versions. The free version lets you use the GPT 3.5 Turbo model, while the paid version grants you access to the GPT-4 model and additional settings. But of course, there are a ton of other features, like inserting tick marks, highlighting important areas of your spreadsheet, or converting an Excel range into a Jupyter Notebook. If you want to learn more about it, check out my website. You might guess it already, you will also find the link in the description box below. Ok, and that is all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.